So recently a channel called HexDSL, which I know mostly for doing Linux gaming content, put out a video where they demonstrate the RuneScape that's now on Steam running under Linux. And as they find, it doesn't work well at all and it pretty much crashes immediately after opening it. Now, I absolutely love HexDSL's channel and I highly recommend that you give it a look. And it's kind of a shame that uh, RuneScape doesn't work on Linux. However, in my humble personal opinion, that ain't RuneScape, mate. That ain't RuneScape. This, this is RuneScape. If you want to play RuneScape on Linux, I would actually recommend that you try out the old school RuneScape because a lot of people seem to like it better. So if you're new to RuneScape, you know, maybe give this a look. And I would recommend to do that, that you try out RuneLite, which is a unofficial client. It's open source, which we love that on this channel. And as you can see, there is a version for Linux, and it's 64-bit, which, you know, most computers are 64-bit, so that should be fine. You can also get it on Windows, uh, Mac, and whatever else you want. And once you download it, you get an app image. So this will work on pretty much any distribution, no trouble. And then once you get that, we can go ahead and go into the game, and I've got to say, look at those graphics. That's... That is the way that RuneScape is meant to be played, it's great. And if we go into here, you got all these plugins that you just don't get on, you know, the kind of Steam RuneScape, you know, you get all sorts of things, but I'm not going to mess with them too much, especially not the sort of GPU options and stuff in case it breaks the streaming, but, you know, if you want to punch rats in style, well, I guess maybe try it on Linux, it works absolutely perfectly. But with that said, that's... Well, this has been a little bit of a pointless video, I just wanted to demonstrate that, yeah, RuneScape does work on Linux, but, you know, you might have to go back to the old school version, but some people like that better anyway, so that's fine. And I've got to say, the state of Linux gaming really is very impressive. I mean, I'm sure this kind of doesn't look like the best example of that, but it's still pretty cool that you can go back and play all these old classic games on Linux using open source software. With that said, that's been a bit of a quick video. I hope you maybe got something out of it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.